Although that the blender market sales have completed, we're going to continue looking at some of the blender add-ons out there. This is KitOps 3. Let me show you from start to finish on how to actually use it. I like this. Now I'm going to carry on using this cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an object that is a cutter and that is a solid piece. Like for instance, this one here, if we go into industrial, we click on our panel, we can see what it looks like. Edit insert. And this is what it pretty much is very basic. However, there are some things around it. So let's go back into the other file and we'll create something from scratch. I actually lie. This is one of the spaceships we've been working on and I kind of want to add some decoration along here. I think we might create that kind of panel to sit in here that you can kind of like pull off. I reckon that'll be kind of like a really good use case. So shift right click. I'm going to add in a cube. Let's scale that down. Now it's really important to have the origin where you want it, where you want it, where you want the cutter to be or the place to be because when we're using what's it called the snapping target which is automatically done through KitOps, that's the point that i actually get stuck onto the surface so i want something around this size sure let's rename it first i'm just going to call it plate underscore in dust underscore oh one that's terrible writing let's come down into KitOps. I'm going to put it into my folder. So we're going to in dust. Let's go ahead now under tools, create insert, and then that's going to add it to our library up the top here, completely off. That's fine. Let's go into edit insert. And that's now created a blender file for us. Um, let's get it the right way. So I'm going to rotate X, whoops, Y 90 degrees, control A. I'm going to apply all transformations because we always want Z up. So it's always going to find when it's going to be using the snap target, it's Z up on the face. So first things first, cause I want it to be cut out a little bit. I'm actually going to make this panel a bit bigger, the top, cause this is my cutter. And then we're going to bevel the corners, control B to do a bevel and then middle mouse wheel up. There we go. So it's kind of like this now angle in here. Let's go ahead, press N. Come down to KitOps. Um, this is going to be a cutter. And then from here, I'm going to select the bottom plate, Shift D to duplicate. Let's go P, separate by selection. Now, clicking on our original, make sure it's still the main object. And then this one here is going to be our solid plate. So let's untick main object. Oh, geez. Back into the first one, main object. Second one is now unticked. Let's click solid. So this is our solid piece we're going to be working from. I think, however, we might maybe cut it in half or better yet, we could even make it so it's kind of like a um, compartment behind it. So let's get back into this cutter. I'm going to press I to do an inset and then E, then E to extrude. And so if we look at it, we've kind of got this um, box behind here with this plane tab into ed mode select all delete vertices i'm going to add in a plane scale that down and so this is going to be kind of like a shelf so if we put it like so e to extrude let's make sure it fills up the whole space not too fast if it overlaps i mean we can be very pedantic but i'm not going to be for this instance we want to make sure that it is below the origin point which is great now I actually lie, we want this face. Let's go P separate by selection. Um, select the main object, we'll give it a tick. And then this one should now be deselected. Awesome, that's a solid. This is going to be our door. So let's scale that up. E to extrude. And so now we've got a door. And I mean, technically we could even grab, you know, this face here, right click, set origin to geometry. So I am actually gonna put in kind of like a handle here. How are we going to do that? Mm, shift S cursor selected. Let's just go ahead. Plane cube, bring that down. I don't know what I'm doing. Something like this. <laughs> just bevel everything. Why not? Ugh, that's yuck. So the reason why the bevels as well are a little bit off is because if we were to check our scale over here on the right hand side, you can see that it is completely butchered. So let's undo that. Right click, control A, apply the scale. Now, if we were to do a control B, you can see that we've got something a little bit prettier. Beautiful, nice. Select that, select that, control J to join. Um, and while we're here, we could even 
just add in a small little hinge. There we go. So let's go P separate by selection and then that will be parented to this control P parent to object, the shelf control P parent to object and also the door control P parent to object. I think we're all good on everything. So that's our cutter. If we expand over here, solid, solid, solid. Excellent, control S to save. Now we need to make the thumbnail. So if we go into load render, you can see that it's a, it's a little bit small. So let's scale it up a smidgen. And if it looks a little bit rough as guts, we can always come over into the modifiers. Oops, so we select the floor. Let's just go into exact for now. Nice. Let's go render thumbnail. And then from here, we have to, we have to close it. Just remember that. So save insert. Now if we were to go to the other blend file, and I completely <laughs> forgot what I was making, so let's delete that now. We will refresh. Let's go into an add insert like so. G to the Y, we place that in our spot. And now if I were to rotate this door, we now have a door. Probably not the best place for that, but it's more of this is how you actually use KidOps in creating it. So we created a Boolean, we created some solid, we also create, we also created a new thumbnail for our object. Um, if we were to go, actually, we don't like this. And we go to period key there and we go to delete hierarchy. We can see that we still get our hole in here. That's fine. Just over into tools, clean Boolean modifiers. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Uh, also, as I'm building this, I'm going to put this on Patreon. Just, just, just so you guys know. Ooh, 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 let me just quickly show you this one. This one is awesome. So if I were to select our object, um, we come into this one, add insert, and then we kind of s make it smaller. It's kind of created an opening through the panel. So here we can probably put wires and crud to come through. That's, I like that one. Ah, oh, there's two. I'll just move it down. There we go. And so now there's a hole going through and yeah, we can add details coming through, blah, blah, blah. How cool is that? 